With the surge in interest rates over the last couple of years, uh, CDs or certificates of deposit have become really popular with savers and those looking to part cash again, but uh, I'm just not a big fan. My name is Scott Caulfield. I'm a CPA and CFA charter holder, and I am the founder of Sophos Wealth Management. So what is it that I don't like about CDs? Well, first of all, I mean, let's look at what a CD is. It's just a deposit at a bank or credit union that pays a fixed rate of interest over a specified time period, um, typically anywhere from a month to several years, as, as much as 10 years. Um, there's a few reasons that I'm not a big fan of CDs. So first is liquidity. Uh, the only way to get your money out is to typically surrender interest. Um, on shorter term uh, CDs, you might give up three months of interest. On longer dated, you might have to give up as much as six months of interest. So it's fairly punitive to get your money out. Uh, there's also credit risk. So you... Your any deposit over 250K, which is the FDIC limit, is uninsured, which means you are an unsecured creditor of the bank. Now, we've seen with the bank failures this year, the SVBs, the First Republics, all these things that have kind of blown up, uh, banks aren't as risky as we might have thought, or are riskier than we might have thought. And I don't like anyone being an unsecured creditor of a bank. I think there are safer alternatives, especially when this is considered, um, for most people, they're very safe cash. Uh, the next thing is taxes. So it, all your interest on CDs is going to be taxed both at the federal and then state and local levels, if that's applicable to you. There's also a call risk, so especially for um, CDs that are, are held at brokerages, they can be called sometimes. Uh, now that will happen in an environment in which interest rates are dropping, meaning the CD will be called and you'll have to reinvest in a vehicle with much lower yield. So obviously that's not ideal. So what do I tell people to do instead? I think treasury bonds are just a, a much better alternative. Not only is the yield higher, um, and you can see in this chart, um, the short-term treasury bill yield is typically as high or quite a bit higher um, than the typical CD, but on almost every other metric, I think they are superior. Um, so here's just a look at the yields on treasuries. Um, this is as of early June. They typically are gonna trade quite a bit higher than CDs. Uh, but if we look at those same metrics that we looked at on the CD, so liquidity, the treasury market is the most liquid um, market, one of the most liquid in the entire world. So you can easily buy a bond, sell a bond, get your money right back out. There's no penalty. There's no credit risk. Um, by and large, the U.S. is considered the risk-free rate. So U.S. Treasury security is considered one of the safest assets of the world. Even with the debt ceiling shenanigans aside, um, the, the concern that you're going to get paid back, if, if treasuries aren't paying you back, you've got bigger fish to fry and bigger problems. Uh, there's also a tax advantage. So you will pay federal taxes on treasury interest, but you will not pay state or local taxes. There's no call risk. Um, and treasury securities, they're pretty easy to buy. You can just set up an account with treasurydirect.gov. You can purchase a security paying no fees. Uh, you'll get the same rate that big banks and large institutional investors will get. The only drawback is that you can't sell on treasurydirect.gov. You'd have to transfer that to a brokerage and sell the treasury there. But frankly, that's not very difficult to do. And if you're going to go through the hassle of setting up a bank account to buy a CD, it's not any more problematic than that. So in general, I just think treasuries are a much better alternative to CDs. They, they give you, uh, I think they're better in just almost every single um, metric that you might look at. So if you're ever interested in talking about your situation, your financial planning scenarios, your investments, uh, I'd be happy to do a free consultation. And thanks for tuning in.